Hey there, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeover of my tiny little dining room. If you've been following me, you know I just moved. I'm 24 weeks pregnant. I have a toddler. We are renting now. And I've done a ton of like renovation house projects in the past. And I am a little limited here now that we're renting but I'm going to paint this room. I'm going to change out the light. I do have some flexibility on things that can be reversed if they need to. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen my dining room. I've talked about it quite a few times because it's very small. It's more of like a eat-in kitchen situation. And I'm limited on the size furniture I can have in here and also just the configuration because behind me we have a laundry room. The doors really, they need to be able to, <laughs> they need to open. So I looked on Pinterest, I looked on Instagram, tried to get some inspiration for small dining spaces and really just didn't find anything. Of course, all of the pictures are beautiful, lots of really airy open dining spaces, which I want this room to feel like that even though it's small. So I've come up with my own plan. But first, let me show you what this room looks like now okay so this is off of our main kitchen area and like I said earlier there is a little door here that goes to our laundry so this needs to be able to open and you also need to have space to stand and open it so it needs to have like at least I would say comfortably because right now it's tight it needs to have like three feet of clearance there um, I have my dog's dog bowl in here which I'm actually just ordered a new one and I'm going to actually put it in a different area of the house because this is really is not working here. We have our dining table and chairs, which this is all really busted and old. This table was a uh, hand-me-down from a friend and I used to use it as a crafting table so you can see I have really crafted on it. <laughs> These chairs are gorgeous. They are from Facebook Marketplace and I love them, but they need some work. They need some serious work. So I'm debating keeping them and repairing them later and just using them in a different area of the house um, or in a future home. I like this one has a ton of paint on it, but they aren't going to stay in here because they just need more work than I can give them right now. And then over here, I have a ton of like extra pantry storage, which I'm obviously not keeping. I have come up with a better solution for all of this, so I just need to clear it out. The paint color in here is Pussy Willow. That is the name by Sherwin Williams. And it is just so dark. Um, it needs to change. And since we rent, I will take the risk of having to paint it back if the landlord wants me to. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along for the ride. I will have everything I can linked down below in the description box and let's get started. Okay, so I went to Sherwin-Williams this morning and got some paint swatches. I love to put the paint swatches up against the flooring and the trim because those are the things that they're going to be against anyway. And what I got was aesthetic white, toque white, origami white, snowbound, and gorgeous white. I decided that this is too pink, this is too white, <laughs> this is too uh, gray actually, in person doesn't look like it on camera, but it's a little too gray. And then it was really between these two, it was the toque white and the aesthetic white. If you know me, you know I've used this paint color in every room of my previous home and I freaking love it. I wanted to try to branch out and do something different, but I just, I felt very drawn to this still. This is a really pretty choice as well, but I'm gonna go with aesthetic white.
order came. I'm actually shocked it came as fast as it did. I just ordered it a couple days ago. But in those boxes, I've got two chairs and a bench that will hopefully look really good at the Ikea table in that dining room. So let's see. actually feeling like this bench back here is a little bit hidden so I'm, I'm gonna try switching it out with a bench I already have and see what that looks like okay no that's gonna be a negative <laughs> I thought maybe this would work but it's just too traditional looking next to these modern chairs and this modern table plus the arms on it make it really hard to get in and out of I thought maybe it would work I'd have to paint it and clean it up a little bit but I'm just not feeling it, not with these chairs. So I'm gonna bring the other bench back in here, but I'm gonna play with the configuration a little bit, see if we can find a setup that works a little bit better because having it back against the wall makes it really kind of hidden. 